welcome to a new episode of DIY Runway. I know I haven't been uploading that much lately, I've been traveling a lot, but I am back in swing and I'm gonna be posting lots of videos. Before I get into today's DIY, I just wanted to announce that I'm having a meetup this Saturday, August 3rd. If you're coming to VidCon, come meet me. I will leave all the links um, and description and information down below. August 3rd, Saturday, come meet me at VidCon. I will be there and I can't wait to give you a hug. I'm gonna bring a little surprise for you guys. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're gonna have to come and see and uh, yeah, come see me. Today, I'm doing a really fun DIY. When I saw a picture of this online, I was like, oh my gosh, I really have to do it. It's inspired by the Emilio Pucci box clutch and it just has all of these embellishments and it's so detailed and beautiful. Not gonna lie, this took me very many hours to do. However, it is so worth it. It's gonna be one of those DIY projects that I'm personally gonna rock and wear for for everything pretty much because you can rock this for like a casual outfit what I'm wearing right now and also like a really dressy nightgown and things like that. The Emilio Pucci clutch <laughs> retails for $1,700 and um, the total of this project was about $50, about $55. So I think it's pretty worth trying it out and let's get into it. For this project you will need a variety of beads and natural stones, jewelry or embellishing glue and an old box clutch. Step 1. Sort all your beads into little jars for easy access. For all the information on this tutorial, head over to my blog. Make sure you have an image of reference near your workplace, which I will include on my blog as well. If you can, remove the strap to avoid any mess-ups. The glue that I used is Jewelry Glue by Martha Stewart. E6000 works well as well. Step 3. Glue down your largest pieces on the clutch. They will be your point of reference on which you will start building your entire design. Step 4. Continue alternating beads, rhinestones and pearls to create exciting visual composition. Using tweezers to handle the little beads will make your life a whole lot easier. Once you're pretty much done and just have a few awkward spaces around the clutch, fill them in with little beads. You can use your glue, but for optimal results, use Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge and then sprinkle the seed beads on top. It's the quickest method. And that's it! Now you're done and you can wear it or display it as art on your closet shelf. So this is our little clutch. I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of how it turned out. I'm really excited. I can't wait to pair it with outfits and show you guys on my blog. Definitely check out my blog. I post on it about several times a week. Um, I do outfit posts. I'm also going to have all the information and links and uh, downloadable photos for this project on the blog. Evelina's Fashion Cafe link is below. Um, also, don't forget to check out my jewelry line. We have um, our, some of our designs on sale, so definitely give that a try. And uh, let's stay in touch and on Twitter and on Facebook and on Instagram, and I will see you very soon, next week or earlier. And come to my meetup, definitely. I would love to meet some of you guys. Please, please, please come. I am seriously so excited to meet you guys. I love you. Bye.